You've got families on both sides now that are going to be impacted forever. And at some point, a kitchen knife was brought out. Kids that will both lose their mothers as a result of this. Uh, one mother who tragically died and another mother is probably going to spend the rest of her life in prison. And the real victims here are the kids. 29-year-old Vanessa Wade is now dead from the incident. Just before 4 p.m. on October 13th, the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office responded to a home located near the intersection of North Post Road and Northeast 32nd in Spencer, a city roughly 20 minutes northeast of Oklahoma City. Upon arrival, they will find a woman suffering from multiple stab wounds. The stabbing in Spencer is now deadly. Deputies say the woman was stabbed by her neighbor near Northeast 23rd and Post Road in Spencer, and they believe it happened during some sort of fight or argument, but they're not sure what led up to the violence. Investigators have not told us the name of the woman who died. The victim was identified as 29-year-old Vanessa Wade, who was taken to a local hospital for treatment, but later succumbed to her injuries. Deputies said a physical altercation occurred between two neighbors' daughters, a 10-year-old and a 17-year-old, which led up to the suspect stabbing Vanessa. The suspect's 10-year-old daughter and Vanessa's 17-year-old daughter, who was actually her cousin, got into a physical altercation. The suspect broke up the fight, at which time the 17-year-old contacted Vanessa and asked her to return to the home, where she was later stabbed. Several witnesses contacted 911, providing deputies with ample enough information needed to make a swift arrest. The Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office identified the suspect as 31-year-old Kayla McNeil, who was immediately taken in for questioning, but refused to cooperate with detectives. Vanessa's mother, visibly distraught, says the entire incident played out in front of her 12-year-old grandson. However, the story didn't quite go the way deputies described it. His mother says Vanessa's 12 year old watched his mom collapse and now the entire family will be reminded every time they look out their front door. Vanessa Wade's mother still in disbelief. She should be burying me one day, not me burying my baby. Shouldn't be like that. Learning of her 29 year old daughter, Vanessa's death from Vanessa's little boy. After his grandma says he watched his neighbor, Kayla Shaney McNeil, stab his mom. And I got a phone call. My 12-year-old grandson called me and said, my mama is dead. It's going to be a constant reminder every time he comes in and out the house, he's going to see where his mother fell. Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office says two neighbor girls getting into a fight led up to McNeil stabbing Vanessa. Vanessa's mother saying different that her 12-year-old grandson, Vanessa's son, and Vanessa's 17-year-old cousin had a run-in with McNeil earlier. She had cussed them out, and she had already took a knife to my niece. She cut her first, and then when my daughter came home, she called the police. Oklahoma County deputies already en route when Vanessa went to check her mail. Dejana Smiley watching it unfold. She didn't look like she wanted to fight, though. She came out the house to go check her mailbox. The lady that came out and just like punched her. She watched Vanessa try to make it back across the street, but she collapsed in her driveway. The boy was like, he was screaming. He was like, they killed my mama. She killed my mama. Vanessa's mom now left with only memories. She was so outgoing, outspoken. She was just a beautiful person inside and out. And I'm truly going to miss my baby. Oklahoma County Sheriff Aaron Broback says this was a tragedy that could have been avoided. Kids fight. That's the reality of life. However, there is no reason for parents to allow it to get physical amongst them as well. 31-year-old Kayla McNeil is charged with first-degree murder with additional charges pending. The case remains ongoing.